Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And by that I mean hello and welcome back to Beta Things, the show that brings you. Blah, 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 blah. This is gonna be a really quick show where I give you guys a present. Check it out. You're gonna love it. This thing. So like, um, I'm I'm at a business thing and a guy gives me his business card, but I don't have my business card. So I'm like, hey man, can I have two of your business cards? And he'd be like, oh uh, yeah, for sure. I love giving out my business cards. And so you take it and you take his card and you put it into this thing and then you roll it through. Bam. And just like that, you give it back to him and he's like, ah ha ha ha, that's hilarious. It's my business card with your information on it. Amazing. Also, you can use like blank paper templates if you want also. But yeah, that's the whole thing. Now I'll show you how you can make your own. Yeah. Production quality. What's that? Okay, so you will be given access with via a link to go and see this document um, in a program called Onshape. And here's my little 10 second um, ad for you. Um, my, I, I do have a secondary goal with this whole thing is that I've been paying these guys uh, for like three years now to use their software because it is fucking awesome like better than Fusion, better than SolidWorks, it's actually awesome and it runs in the browser. Weird, right? Let's get over it and move on. The cloud is the future. So you can get a free account on this Onshape, uh, on their platform, but you're, you can't do, you can't have private documents. So everything is like available for everyone to see. If you choose, you can pay them like 1500 bucks a year or something and, and have all of your private documents. This will be a public document. My goal here is that all y'all are gonna come up, they're gonna, you're gonna come over to Onshape and you're gonna customize your business cards, but you're gonna have to sign up for an account first, so they'll get your email address, and they'll also see that you've come to look at this specific document. And then Onshape's gonna be like, holy crap, Paul's sending all sorts of people our way uh, and, and spreading the gospel of our awesome CAD software. Maybe we should let him have it for free now. Okay, that's the whole thing. So basically, you've got a, I'm gonna move my face here. Oh no, this is bad. OBS, help me now. Okay, uh, so you got on the left side here, you've got your whole timeline of every move that it took to make this. You don't really care about most of that. What you care about is you can click on this text area and it'll, it'll highlight this, embossed text. Double click on that and then you can go in here and anything that you put with a solid line inside this box is going to be put onto these rollers. So for instance, I can right click on this and I can say edit text and I may say poop check. And look, it says poop. And then I say check and then it's going to run itself back through. It's going to do this little loading thing. This, bam. And for some reason it does it upside down. I don't know, but that's fine. Um, the other things are these variables. Just below embossed text, you've got variables. The depth, that's going to control how deep the embossment is. And um, if you mess around and you find it's not doing a good enough job, you go ahead and you change that value, make it thicker, make it thinner, whatever you like. Welcome to parametric programming or CAD. Uh, and then we've got the paper offset. So um, these things, like the A, fits into the A slot, right? But it does so with a little bit of extra room around the outside. If you've been around 3D printing at all, you know tolerances are a thing, so you gotta give things a fit tolerance so they can fit together. That's what we're doing here. Um, and so you got paper offset on the negative side, that's how much offset we give on these, these holes. And then you got paper offset on the positive side, that's how much offset we give on the protrusions. Um, and the screw diameter, I'll talk to you about that in a second. But for the paper offsets here, um, the problem is that if you've got like a, a font that has like a serif or something, um, if you offset it and it runs into itself, it'll cause an error. Uh, so if you recompile and you find that some things have turned red, you probably have to mess around with the paper offsets on those individually. Um, yeah. And finally, the screw size. You gotta figure out a screw that's gonna fit 
uh, so that its head is a little bit bigger than the hole in your 608 bearing, which is a typical skateboard bearing. Uh, and so you just give it your diameter of the shaft of that screw, and it's already going to do the offset. So it's tight in here, and then it's loose in here, and this little little filler piece, and it's going to fill the space between the screws uh, outside and the inside of the bearing, so that everything lines up real nice. Um, yeah, that's it. And then um, you're going to want to export these things so that you can 3D print them, obviously. So you find those here underneath of our, this is our timeline up here that we've been going through. On the bottom here, you've got all the parts. So we want both the wheels, one of these brackets, because it's the same piece up and down. And then you want four of these, um, what I call them, screw spacer. So you've got those four items there, and then once they're all highlighted, I can right click and I say export as, make sure it says STL, fine, and export as individual files. What it'll do is export the individual parts uh, within a zip file, the unzip, and you throw it in. Uh, and I might as well just show you the whole process. No, no I'm not. You just hit export, and then it downloads. And then you bring it into your slicer program, you do all your 3D printing stuff. I'm not going to teach you how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, go find someone else. Um, yeah, so there it is. Pocket Business Card Press. Pretty cool. Give me two seconds and I'll show you how to put it together uh, in case you're a total dullard. And then we'll be good. That'll be it. Whole episode filmed in like 20 minutes. Production quality, low. Gift value, hella high. Uh-huh. All right, so I've already got this one mostly together so we can keep this demo pretty quick. Uh, the hardest part of this whole thing that you're gonna find is gonna be matching up the two rollers together. Um, so I'll show you that with, uh, with this other set. You'll notice that we've got uh, a line here uh, that makes it really easy to register. Um, just know that the teeth are gonna be uh, set up so that everything registers. Um, and so you'll be just moving it by increments of teeth, you know, one tooth, one tooth like that. And you'll find it pretty quickly. And you'll find where everything, all the letters and everything mesh. And then you'd hold that together, just kind of grip it. Uh, and then you put the bracket over top and then you put a screw through the uh, bearing and spacer through all that whole assembly. I'll show you that in a second. But just know, yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure it's nice and nice and meshed. Uh, and so the next part then you would do is you'd take your screw, whatever size you ended up having that was smaller than the diameter of this, put it through the through the bearing, and then you take the flange that was generated uh, with the uh, sorry the, uh, the the spacer with the flange facing down, and it should just press in there. It might be a little bit tight. You might have to screw it in a little bit, but like that. Uh, and then that assembly is what you push through the uh, through the the bracket here. So you just push that into the hole, screw it in, and you can tighten it a fair bit. Make sure that it's actually running on the bearing, and uh, there it is. Do, do, do. Let's do a little run through on this one. Why not? Um, and yeah, when you're using it, you start by lining up the, uh, the long lines there just so that they're just touching. And that becomes for you a registration for the paper. So it keeps it square going in, which is good. And then you push and you let it roll through. Boop. Looks best from an angle <laughs> because the, uh, the embossment is kind of hard to see on camera straight on. But yeah, Beta Things presents the Uprint Embosser. Do it yourself. Thanks for tuning in.